Good morning and welcome to Zen Fits here in Blackstone, Virginia, the center of the world. But then you two are the center of the world. And uh, it's December 1st and it's a beautiful sunny day. And uh, I wanted to talk about the movie uh, 1899, which we uh, saw the whole series, ended seeing the whole series uh, uh, a few days ago. And uh, you know, like a like a coffee pot, uh, uh, a pot of coffee. It's been uh, perking. <laughs> it's been perking a little bit, so now I'm ready to pour out a cup of 1899 and uh, share it with you. Uh, the coffee has to perk, you know, your your coffee pot, uh, unless you got the little Korig uh, one cuppers. You know, it has to has to perk, has to completely fill. You know. And uh, then you can serve the coffee. So the title of this talk is 1899, a movie to wake up by. Now, if you haven't seen 1899, uh, you should see it. And, and uh, it may be confusing at first, but hang in there. And, uh, but I can give you the general outline of it uh, without spoiling it. Uh, basically, it is a, uh, it would be like you went to a multiplex theater, okay, and there was a theater there uh, w with the, uh, and if you, suppose you went there with a, with a group of friends, and you, and you got to choose, and every, and, and you, you may think you're going in to the, see the same movie, but what you're actually doing is choosing your own reality your own movie your own life you know but you but you believe that you and your friends are all watching the same movie because there they are right next right next to you in the theater but in reality you're only watching your movie and each of your friends are watching their movie in a different theater you know when you go to these multiplex theaters uh, you can maybe you choose a nice, quiet, uh, you know, romantic comedy or something, and somebody next door's got a war movie, and the cannon fires, boom, 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 and it's making the walls of your thirty rattle, you know, and uh, and but you're watching a nice, quiet, romantic movie, <laughs> but you can, and you wonder, geez, I should have gone to that movie. <laughs> But so, so the image we're recreating here is that you, all of your different your friends went to went into not realizing it went into different little theaters. The theaters today are you know little boxes. It's like a little space capsule. When I grew up, theaters were palaces. I mean, in San Diego, I grew up in San Diego, and you went to the theater, and it was vel it was a velvet palace, and the and the ushers were dressed in uniform, and uh, there was a staircase going up, and you expected the Queen of England to come down at any moment, and you were treated like royal. This was a, a royal a palace, you know, of the theater, and now it's just a little box. It's like we're in a little space capsule. But we believe we're in, you know, that, that all of my friends, getting back to the metaphor, so all of my friends, you see, I believe they're in the same movie as me because I can see them right there, but they're in my theater. And of course, for them, I'm in their theater. So we're all watching our own private movie, like we're rich people. <laughs> and we have our own little theater in our house where we can have a private viewing, you see. So we're all having, so the movie is kind of like, like that. Every character in the movie is having, believes they're in the same world, reality, but they're each in their own reality. And it's confusing. Things don't fit. How did this happen? Why did this happen? Because they start getting intermingled and, and start getting uh, uh, mixed together, you see. And suddenly you find yourself in the other theater. Or that somebody else in the other th find them, wait a minute, well, I was just in, you know, and, it, and so the, the key to the whole thing is wake up, wake up, wake up. It's kind of like you have a deep dream and you believe somebody in your dream is trying to wake you up, but no, they're standing outside and they're put, tapping you, wake up, wake up. 
but you don't wake up because you think you're in the dream waking up. But suddenly at some moment, bam, you wake up. Like Alice in Wonderland. Like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Like Groundhog Day. Oh, a lot of movies. Avatar, waking up, I see you. So a lot of our movies are wake-up movies. Uh, what was that? Um, the Sixth Sense. Wake up. The Sixth Sense, the little boy says, I see dead people. But the dead people think they're alive. They think they're in the movie. They think they're alive. They're dreaming they're alive. So 1899 is the latest in, the, in, in, a, seri in, in a, a genre of movies by which we wake up. Something keeps poking us, you know. I remember going to movies uh, uh, when I was in the 40s. Uh, as a child, you'd go to the, watch westerns. And uh, a lot of the westerns were really stage sets. <laughs> and if you see the panorama of the, of the mountains there, uh, if someone walked behind, the, it was a set, it was a screen. The town was fake, the town was a screen. But in but some theaters, I remember one, there was always a tear on the, on the, on the screen. So the, the scenery might move, the, state, the, the, pic, the panorama might move, but the tear, the little spot or the tear stays the same. So that's a clue. That's a clue that the movie is not real. That's a clue that you're dreaming. That spot. That spot doesn't change. Wait a minute. We just shifted. We just went from, from uh, the desert to, uh, uh, to inside a hotel, and that spot is still on the screen. What's that, you see? A lot of mo I remember my son used to, a lot of his, a lot of his adolescent drawings were about a tear in the scenery, or maybe a claw coming through. The whole idea of a, of a window, a portal, a tear. Wait a minute. In the movie, they're in a ship, but then suddenly they're shifted out to an outdoor scene somewhere, and, they, and somebody pulls away the wall, <laughs> pulls away the screen, and the bulkhead of the ship is there. In other words, they're still in the ship. You know, in other words, so what we're looking at here is there are always clues in your theater of the mind that tell your background awareness, that tell this reason, this, this sleeping mind, that tells this sleeping mind that, wait a minute, something's not right here. Something's wrong. Am I asleep? Is this a dream? Is this dream of reality or is it reality? We're always playing with these. And today even more so because we live in a media world. Everybody's plugged into the same theater. We're all plugged into the same media. Every household, and not even the household, but your cell phone in your pocket. <laughs> I, see, when I grew up, you had to go downtown to the big theater where the ushers would usher you in with a flashlight and give you a seat as if you were at the opera. You know, the usher would show you where your seat was. Even if the theater was empty, they would show you where to seat, where to sit, you know, and they would sit you down and of course you'd get popcorn and whatnot. You, you know the ritual. But today, the world is the media. We, we, are, we, are, we are all living in our little, on our couch. <laughs> We're all living on a recliner chair, watching the screen of the world. And of course now, there are different worlds to watch. You can watch the, the uh, mainstream world, the liberal world, or you can watch the Fox world. 
Uh, and then these break down, you see. So there's like two different big theater realities, the left view and the right view. And then each one breaks down into smaller theaters, you see. But the fact is we're all sitting on, this, on a couch watching the world through on a screen. And so this, the word media, which is, ra which is a multiplex media, it comes as uh, theater, movies, it comes as TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, uh, different forms of media, different forms of, of senses, you see. So the media breaks down into different senses. You can hear it. You can hear it. Uh, they want they want to have movies that with a smell. They want to have movies that vibrate chairs to increase enhance the illusion. And now there's 3D movies. You don't have to go to a theater. You just put goggles on and you're in a 3D world. You see, you're in the movie, but we're all sitting on a recliner chair in our living room. And the screen keeps getting bigger. The screen keeps getting bigger. First, it started out with a little box. It's bigger and bigger and bigger. Now it's the whole wall. And you keep getting cheaper and cheaper so you can buy the bigger and bigger screen eventually. But, re but the reality is our house, the room we're in, is the screen. And it's a 3D screen. It's a 3D screen, you see. And we're all sitting on our recliner chair in our home. You see where we're going here? <laughs> it's time to wake up. Knock, tock, tock, tock. It's time to wake up now. Wake up now. It's time to wake up. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> wake up now. <laughs>